The UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron continued a visit to Ukraine, here planting a tree with the mayor of Lviv in the west of the country. The UK during the visit has announced around 3.5 billion euros in annual military aid. Attention has focused on Cameron's statement in Kyiv on Thursday, saying Ukraine could use British weapons against targets inside Russia. Ukraine has that right. Just as Russia is striking inside Ukraine, um, you can quite understand why uh, Ukraine uh, feels the need to make sure it's defending itself, it's getting the Russians out of its country, and it has the ability to strike back. In Moscow, Cameron's statement, along with one by the French president repeating he doesn't exclude sending troops to Ukraine, was described as dangerous by Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. This is a direct escalation of tension around the Ukrainian conflict, which could potentially pose a danger to European security. We note this dangerous tendency to escalate tension in official statements. Emmanuel Macron was asked in this week's edition of The Economist, do you stand by what you said about possibly sending ground troops to Ukraine? And the French president replied, absolutely. As I said, I'm not ruling anything out because we are facing someone who is not ruling anything out. In terms of diplomacy, Macron will next week make a new push to try and dissuade the Chinese president Xi Jinping from supporting Putin's war against Ukraine. Russia, in another statement on Friday, said it was ready to consider serious proposals to settle the Ukraine conflict based on what it said were existing realities. The conditions made were no different to ones Ukraine has rejected several times in the past.